Fire sales come in soon, Pops. There are 66,000 model year 2023 new cars on dealer lots right now. Last time I checked, it's almost the year 2025, and a lot of 2025 model year vehicles are already on dealer lots. There's a huge oversupply of really old new cars. Those are the vehicles you can get the best deal on. Let's break down what's going on in the market and help people understand what they need to watch out for. How's that sound? Sounds good to me because everybody wants an old new car. <laughs> you know, dealers are desperate to get rid of them. That's for doggone sure. Like I said, there are 66,000 model year 2023 new cars. And when you look at the different brands, Dad, Ford has 16,000 of them. And then Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, you start adding it up, 5,000 here, 7,000 there. They're pretty close to, to Ford as well with another 15, 16,000. So there are a lot of domestic automakers that have way too many model year 2023 new cars sitting there for 200, 300, 400, 500 days. And this comes on the heels of Stellantis' CFO saying we need to sell down 35,000 cars cars a month, 100,000 cars between now and the end of the year. So that should mean desperation for dealers trying to sell these things, correct? Oh, I would think so. If any dealer, whatever dealers still have brand new 23s on the lot, uh, those should have spiffs on them to encourage the salespeople to sell them. They should have huge discounts to encourage every customer to look at them. Uh, hopefully there's huge incentives from the manufacturers to encourage the dealers to discount the hell out of them to get rid of them. And from a consumer's perspective, if you're looking for a brand new 2023, don't know why you would be, but if you were and luck has it that you found it, you should be able to snag one hell of a deal on it. But there's one thing you need to be concerned with. And that one thing is called lot rot. For whatever reason, as cars sit on lots without being driven, they tend to start, well, disintegrating, falling apart. There's different types of issues so that you might want to get a, a pre-purchase inspection done on a brand new car to see what type of what issues you might be looking at. I want to pump the brakes on issues. I want to first talk about deal making, Dad. Let's start to set some expectations. You used to manage dealerships for 40 years. Did you ever have new cars that were two model years back still sitting there? And if you did, how big of an incentive? And you mentioned spiff before. I don't know if everyone in our community knows what a spiff is. So like, help us understand how good of a deal we can get. Pros. Then we'll talk about cons. Lot rot and how you can, you know, make sure you're informed about that. Talk to us about the deals, the deal making here. Like, pretend you're the dealer. What are you thinking? If if I had a customer inquiry into a vehicle, a new vehicle that's been sitting on the lot for 400 days, 500 days, that was a, a model and a half year old or two model years old, um, that would that would perk my ears up and and my eyes would bulge because I need to figure out how to make that go away. So you get in touch with the customer. When can you come in? I want you to see the car. I want you to drive the car. And I promise you, you coming in is going to save you thousands upon thousands of dollars if this is the vehicle that you want. And that's how you start. Now, flip it back to the customer. What are we doing, Dad? Let's say you go to caredge.com. You look at the 66,000 model year 2023 new cars for sale. You sort it by days on market oldest. And you found that 500 days on market Ford F-150. Are we just sending the normal email template? that we give away for free that customers can use to get pricing? Are we just contacting the dealer to get price? Like, what are we doing here? Are we approaching it any differently or are we just kind of going in normal? You have to use our templates and, well, make some major adjustments to them uh, and, and indicate and send the email directly to the general sales manager, the new car manager, and the general manager. Send it to every one of the managers and say to them, listen, I noticed that you have X sitting on your lot. And it's been there for 500 days. And I have an interest in X. But I only have an interest in X if you are going to be extremely aggressive in your pricing to get rid of X. I can finally help you get X off your lot after 500 days. And that's how you start. For what it's worth, BMW does have some BMW XMs that have been sitting on dealer lots for 500 days. So that email template, you can just use what you said. No, I hear you loud and clear, Dad. So you can be even more aggressive here is what I'm 
what I'm uh, what I'm downloading from you, the information that you're changing. Be more aggressive. You know that this is a model year vehicle that they want to get rid of, desperate to get rid of. And if they've had it for that long, they've obviously paid all the floor plan costs. Go watch our other videos that talk about floor plan. Like they just want to get rid of it. So you can be more aggressive, is what I'm hearing. Oh, you say. absolutely. And and you need to you need to make them aware that you're aware how long it's been sitting there and and how desirous they are to finally get rid of that vehicle you will you will scratch their back if they scratch your back you'll do them the favor of buying that car assuming that they're aggressive enough in their pricing to make it easy for you to say yes now one thing i do recommend you do if you're thinking about buying a model year 2023 new vehicle from a desperate dealer is run that new vehicle VIN, vehicle identification number, through BlackBook. We have that back on CarEdge.com. See what the market value is for that vehicle if it was a used car. Put like a 1,000 miles in when you get that value. Or go to CarEdge.com slash sell and pretend to sell the vehicle. See what a fair price is. This is actually one of the few instances where you could do a real comparison of like, here's what the market would pay or values this as a used vehicle. All right, dealer, I'll help you out. I'll take it off your hands. But I want to pay close to market value for it. So that's a nifty little uh, tactic that you can use to help make sure you're paying a fair price. Lot rot, dad. Let's go back to cons. Let's go back to the cons list here. What do we need to watch out for? You mentioned pre-purchase inspection. Typically, that's only reserved for used vehicles. Like, what are you doing in this situation if you've found one 500 days on the lot and you're interested in it? Drive it and drive it for a great distance. Um, I will guarantee you that a vehicle that has been sitting at a dealership for 300 days, 400 days, 500 days, they don't move the vehicle around the lot very often. So the tires develop what's known as flat spots. And you'll hear a thumping as you're driving down the road because, oh, <coughs> excuse me, because all four tires have flat spots. That means it's going to need new tires. But you want to drive the car. You want to drive it on the highway. You want to drive it around town. You want to get a sense as to whether or not it does have flat spots. Uh, you want to run the air conditioning and heating units. You want to see if there's any um, infestation from uh, rodents or anything like that. Leaves that have gotten into the ventilation system. Rattles. Anything along those lines. Because for whatever reason, and I don't know what the reason is, I just know what happens because I have experienced it in 43 years. As vehicles sit, they tend to deteriorate, okay? Um, trim loosens up for whatever reason. The sun beats down on it. Um, tires go flat. There's just so many issues that can happen. Unlike most new cars, on old aged units, you really do want to get a pre-purchase inspection done, have an independent mechanic look at it and see what issues they might find. Batteries tend to lose juice. Um, the voltage is lower than it should be or what the manufacturer mandates. So an old aged vehicle, an old aged new vehicle could need tires, could need a new battery. There's what, $1,200 right there for four tires and a battery. So these are things that you're going to want the dealer to take care of, not you to take care of. All right, that is such good information, Pops. By the time you're watching this video, Car Edge's Deal School, which is our 100% free guide on how to buy a car in 2024, has come out. So please go watch that video next before you go to the website and try and find these 2023s that you might be able to snag a great deal on. And like my dad said, pre-purchase inspection, we've got a resource for that as well. Just Google search pre-purchase inspection space, Car Edge, and read our guide on that. Dad, thank you so much for knocking this out. We really appreciate it. Your insights are greatly valued. Well, thank you for thinking of me. I appreciate it. <laughs>